Yo, what's good, Sneaker Log? It's your boy, Sneaker Box. So, checking back in with another new sneaker video, fam. Hopefully, everybody been cool since the last video. Look, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet for y'all, man, because I've been having issues uploading videos into the channel. So, let's just try to do this real quick. I know a lot of y'all going to know what these are, just from the box. But, bang, there they is. The Air Jordan 1 UNC Off-White Collaboration. And, yo, these joints right here fire, without a doubt. Definitely dope. I'm going to try to give y'all a quick overview of this shoe. Point out things that I like about the sneaker. Give y'all a shot to do the same at the end. You already know how to do it, so let's just jump right into it. And, I mean, right off the bat, man, the shoe, I ain't going to lie, man. In hand, the shoe is better than what I expected it to be. Definitely exceeded my expectations. I never owned a pair of off-white anything, like no off-white in my collection. So, this is my first pair. And seeing them, I think they dope. I think they fire, without a doubt. This is more so kind of giving y'all an early look at them, but I'm still going to kind of, you know, give my critique on the shoe or whatever, what I feel about it. But I think the shoe is dope. I think it was done in um, good taste as far as the the um, creativity, creativity as far as with the detail that they put into the shoe. Uh, it's different. It's really, the whole concept has grown on me over time. At first, like, I remember they dropped a pair of the Chicago 1 Off-White collaboration. I wasn't really digging those too much, but I felt like they executed better with this colorway. This um, this colorway is definitely my favorite colorway out of the other ones that I saw. I saw an all-white pair as well. This is definitely my favorite. Now, when they dropped the first collection with the Off-White Nike collaboration, uh, it was I can't remember how many shoes. It was a lot that dropped. I actually like the Prestos. I was actually going after those, but I struck out. I definitely did strike out on those. And um, this one actually intrigued me when I saw it because I, it, it actually, in my opinion, I felt like it was a better looking shoe, just in my opinion. And in hand, it is better. It's my favorite one out of the ones that I've seen. Uh, the craftsmanship, the quality, the material that they used on here is pretty good. I've, I like the color combination, the color blocking, which never is usually never really hard with the Jordan 1, but they kind of added their own different flair on here. You see this material right here. That's kind of more so what you're used to seeing on, like, trainers, the old, older trainers. I like it that they threw it on the Jordan 1. Even the Nike check, it's, it's kind of stitched on, and then it has the open stitching right there. And then it's that orange... I like the little hits of the orange, man. It's it's just little subtle stuff, little details on the shoe. Like they they wrote air right there in the quotation, and that font it it works. It's different. I even hear the quality that they use on the white part is better. Um, because I I did hear that some people were saying on their Chicago ones, which is crazy, the Chicago one off white joints that they were ripping. Some people were saying that they were wearing it. They're wearing the shoe, and it's ripping right there on the um, toe, on the toe area. So, that's crazy. They come unlaced, uh, like, you know, the OG style for Jordan 1s. They come in the zip tie. It's one of the unique things with the whole off-white collaboration, the off-white zip tie. At first, I thought it was kind of crazy, but when you see, I've seen people, you know, actually rock these, like, in pictures, and it actually doesn't look crazy. It actually looks kind of cool, so it's different. There's a tongue. I like that Nike Air tab on the side like that. It's just different, and then it's orange. It just kind of pops. Subtle pop, though. You know what I'm saying? But it's dope. It's different, man. It, it definitely has that 80s vibe, like you see with the in 80s kind of 90 vibe with the orange... Um, that late 80s vibe, I should say. But it's a Jordan 1. So it's it's cool, man. Especially when you see this. This is what you used to see on the trainers, like I stated. The Jordan's 1 lingo. I'm not too crazy about this unfinished ankle, high ankle top where the uh, foam is exposed. But so it's a detail of the shoe that the person who designed it, they saw that in their vision. So... It's cool. We'll see how that, you know, goes on over time. Um, if you didn't know, Virgil Abloh, I believe is how you say his name. He's the one who's behind this this whole concept. 
Off White is his label. His, I mean, his brand. And that's the collaboration with the Jordan One, and I believe they gave him the reins to you know to go with the design because that's what he he's a fashion guy. One of Kanye's friends, I believe I heard a story that they went and interned together like overseas or something. They was working with these different um, designers. I guess they were doing it for free, just trying to study, in a sense, to get that um, under their belt as far as to get a sense of fashion designing. And uh, I hear that Virgil actually, like, he, I mean, yeah, he's collaborated with Kanye, and I believe that he's done, like, artwork for him as far as, like, for albums or something like that. And, uh, you know, he, they just, that's kind of like Kanye's fashion. That connection is more so with the fashion side and art. And, you know, when I see these, I see art on the Jordan 1. And I think, it, you know, I just heard, also, I heard that he recently got a, a, like, a top position with Louis Vuitton. So, that's a big deal for him. You know what I mean? It's a big deal in the fashion industry, you know. As a, he's a black guy. So, you know, I guess that was kind of, like, another thing to add on to it. it he's doing his thing. The guy's doing his thing. Um, I think this is pretty cool. Uh, collaboration, and I like how it came out. Uh, it does come with extra laces. Have the blue and the orange. I think the orange would be cool to kind of. I like the. Even though it's something small, I like that on the laces. Like it has, you know, just shoelaces like that in that font. I think it's different, man. It's a unique shoe. Something I saw in the box um, was. Like the sticker. So, I don't really know if that's, you know, something as far as a quality assurance or just something to stamp them as for authenticity. Not really sure. But this is definitely an authentic retail pair. Don't even play with me like that because <laughs> we don't do no fake uh, UA 98%. 98% real, whatever, none of that, he's 100%, you already know, um, actually, I'll keep these out, I just want to show you the box real quick, though, so here's the box, oh, I didn't even really talk about this, but the box top, um, it has, like, a, I'm not going to open it, but basically, you can, it has a plastic, and you can open it, whatever, um, I'm, I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to, you know, keep it how it came. I guess open the box top. But it kind of gives it a window. And um, these, this is the box sticker. So it gives you the women's and the men's size. And then you have the colorway white, dark powder, blue, and cone. Okay. It's weird names. Dark powder blue. But I get it. Dark powder blue. Oh, I didn't even talk about the sticker price. Box sticker price was $190. And we did get these joints retail. Um, I was able to hit on these off of a surprise release drop. Was able to hit on that. Y'all probably heard about it a couple weeks ago. I did hit on that. And I got these for retail, man. This shit was crazy. My One of my more easier experiences with the sneakers app, without a doubt. Um, was able to get on there. I guess, you know, it's cool, man, because it's cool to be like, you know, I didn't have to, I felt like I didn't have to struggle with the robots. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the resellers and everybody just trying to, you know, get the shoe. You know, just trying to be like greedy with it. Just being able to manually go in there, get the shoe and pretty quick i've heard different stories some people said it took them a while but me i don't know if i was just mad early but i was able to get them just like it was one of those drops man you either heard about it or you didn't you know what i'm saying or you knew about it or you didn't man hopefully if you were trying to get these you were able to hit i was able to for retail that's just great great feeling especially a shoe like this that's pretty high in value it's actually been, has dropped over time, just as of recently, because a lot of people like myself was able to get these, and, you know, some people still trying to put them up for sale, and they're just taking any wild price, 
So it kind of undercut the market. A lot of resellers are pissed off about it. I don't care. You know, it's a dope shoe. It'll, if as far as value goes, it'll hit its value over time. So not really tripping off of that. But the shoe is just dope regardless, regardless of any of that. But, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about these. I mean, I think they're dope. I think they're fire. Like I said, pretty, pretty dope shoe in my opinion. And it's definitely dope that I can finally retire these joints right here, man. <laughs> Man, check these out right here, man. These some beaters. These are my uh, military, military blue fours <laughs> from like damn. When are these? These from like oh six, I believe something like that. So it's cool, man. To finally, that's why I'll be always on the hunt for blue Jordans, man. Cause it's 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 hard to find a good pair of blue Jordans these days. You feel me? But nah, man. I'm just joking. I just wanted to. Pull these out real quick. Hey, what y'all think is better though? Y'all, y'all like these? Y'all like the, this colorway, or the Jordan One? I like this colorway. This is an old colorway, man. But I know they beat us. But what y'all think if they were to, if these were to drop some off white, some off white Jordan Ones, or some dope, like I'm talking about some dead stock military blue fours? What y'all think? What would y'all grab? That's interesting. That would be interesting. It kind of had the same vibes to it a little bit. But, yeah. Uh, back to these right here. These are dope. And I gave y'all my opinion. I'll let y'all know what I think about them. So, now it's y'all turn. Y'all let me know down in the comment box. Let me know what y'all think about these right here. Be able to get them. Are you feeling them? If you didn't get them, I gave you a look. I gave you an early look. These are officially going to be dropping here shortly. So, stay tuned for that. Like I said, this is an early retail pair, I guess you can say. Give y'all a look at them so y'all can see, make it, form your own opinion. I'm going to tell y'all, man, in person, in hand, they very dope, man. Very dope. Hopefully, this this video gives them justice, but take my word on it. But, um, yeah, man, let me know down in the comment box. Say what's up. If you can hit that thumbs up button for your boy, I really appreciate that. Let's try to run the likes up on this video. I'm trying to run the likes up on the channel, so help me share the channel with your friends and your groups, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, man, y'all stay tuned, man. Like I said, I'm getting around to unboxing a bunch of stuff that I received, so finally getting around to it, so y'all bear with me. I'm going to get that up for y'all. In the meantime, in the between time, y'all stay cool. Oh, I forgot. Before I forget, man, hit that notification bell as well so you can get notified when I drop new content, new video on the channel. And, uh, yeah, in the meantime and in between time, y'all stay cool. Check it out. Always remember, cop what you like. Not what they hype. Stay up. Peace.